need a break from all the heaviness in the news, how about some fun silver for a change? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Boy, it's uh, pretty serious out there, isn't it? <laughs> Stressful times. I know I've dropped a lot of videos, uh, macroeconomics, you know, heavy stuff, right? And, and you know, sometimes I think it can be too much, overwhelming. My daughter, I think she's uh, cut out news because she just just can't handle you know all the stuff that's going on. If, if you've uh, blanked out some of the news recently, put it in the comments below. I'm curious to see how you guys are dealing with or coping with um, just what's going on around the world and in our country. Um, so anyway, I thought it would be fun to just lighten the mood a bit. Maybe check out some fun silver for a change. Yeah, this isn't necessarily stacking the Yankee way, you know, my three-part uh, focus on government-minted silver bullion, uh, constitutional silver, and gold. But sometimes it's fun to just stack the cool stuff, you know, the higher premium stuff. I, I do limit it quite a bit. I'm very disciplined as a stacker, but this is just some right here of uh, what I stack for fun as a collector stacker, which I'm not. I'm a prepper stacker, and I'm really happy I am right about now. But hey, we all need a break. We all need something fun. So I pulled this stuff out, and I want to go through it with you. You know, talk about it just a little bit, maybe reminisce, uh, shout out some people that, you know, have helped me along the way with trades and just gifts. Can I just say, this YouTube community is absolutely the most generous and loving YouTube community out there, period, bar none. Anyway, so let's talk about some fun stuff. And I'm going to start, I guess, top left-hand corner, but I might jump around a little bit. Um, so let's take a look at this one. This one, <laughs> the Z Sin Gallus. This is one of the first uh, rounds. I think it might have been the first round I ever bought. I love the style. It's a Korean coin. I looked at the ones that they released later on, and I didn't like it as much as uh, as this one. I love the re you know the the uh, field in this. It's really cool. Hopefully the high def is working. But that is that's a fun coin <laughs> or round I should say. It's a medallion to be exact. But yeah, that that's really neat. Back in. Uh, 2018. Also in 2018, the guinea. I thought this was one of the most beautiful uh, coins uh, at that time. I was in love with this one. <laughs> I think it spins. Yep, this way. You know, the queenie is a little, a little better than most, I think. Uh, man, I got to get that shine right. I'm sorry for the reflection on some of these coins, but definitely love the St. Helena guinea. I love the field there around there. And I normally don't really like the obverse with the queenie, but <laughs> I do love the shield, the blade back here. It's really neat. Oh, that's a great coin. I got that in 2018 as well. Oh, yes. This was given to me from someone in our community down in Texas. Remember the Alamo? Oh, man, that is that is cool. I'll be flipping and, and turning these coins wrong all throughout this video, probably. <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> oh, remember, oh, that's that's really neat. Neat coin, or round, I should say. Uh, yeah, here we go. The Black Bull of Clarence. Queen's Beasts. Let's see if I get this right. Uh, this way. Yes. <laughs> uh yeah, that's, that's that side. But, you know, yeah, The Queen's Beast is a great series. I didn't do a lot. In fact, uh, where's the other one? Uh, oh, yeah, right next to it. Well, two over. This is my favorite Queen's Beast right here. The dragon. Red dragon, right? Yeah. Every time I look at this, I think of Silver Dragons. <laughs> yep, Queenie. So, yeah, this, this is... I don't know. This was my favorite. There are other Queen's Beasts out there that I thought about getting, but eh. these are the um, uh, African elephant rounds, or coins, I should say. Yes, coins. Two different, or actually, these are the same same year, 2015. 
Yeah, those are neat. This is the other year that I have. 2016. Oh, you're starting to milk up on me, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's to be expected with silver. Milking and toning. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is my only Libertad. You guys love the Libertad, I know, out there. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's right. It's a flipper. <laughs> Estados Unidos Mexicanos. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's uh, that's a good coin. A little high premium, but, hey, you guys love the Libertad, right? This is a 2018. That's, I think, I think I got it last year, 2019. But that was cool. Uh, oh, yes. I had to have a kangaroo. An Australian kangaroo. This one milked up pretty much. This is a 2018. Oh, yeah. Yep. Kangaroo. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Love the relief on this one. Yeah. Noah's Ark. Really cool. Love the dove with the olive branch. Fantastic story. Beautiful Bible story there. And Republic of Armenia. 500 somethings. <laughs> Boy, I am so, oh man, that's bad. I should know exactly what that is. <laughs> but that is a really nice coin. Uh, again, that was a win, I think, from the community. I did buy this one. This was an ice cream cone that I thought of, and I was like, yeah, I want a Britannia, but I want the Oriental border. And at some point, actually, no. No, I don't think I bought it. I think this was a trade yeah, that might have been a trade, 2018. Boy, I wish I, I probably should have like written everything down. You know, Yankee has to have a, you know, a detailed plan for his, uh, uh, you know, Coast to Coast show live streams and a lot of my videos, so at least a, an outline, but I can't, I, I didn't write down where I got everything. Mm, bad Yankee. I bet you there are people that are going to comment saying, Really? I do that on all my silver. I know exactly where they're from. Look at the, I love the reverse on this. Wow. I think that little scratchers of the plastic. There we go. Fine silver. That uh, action shot grabbing a, what is that, a lake trout? Oh, that is so cool. Very nice. I already did that. Uh, uh, oh, also... This Incuse, I don't know if you guys can see that, the Maple Leaf, which is one of my absolute favorite designs on a coin, love the Maple Leaf, is the Incuse. It, you know, goes in. Isn't that cool? Yeah, she's still there. <laughs> but that, I really loved uh, getting that. Well, uh, hey, gotta have a Cougaran, right? Yep. That is a Thompson Gazelle, I believe. <laughs> and let's see if this thing is milking up. Mm. No, a little bit of scratches there on his collar. Uh, I don't see... Yeah, I don't see many milk spots, if any, on that. That's really nice. 2018. I think I got that last year. Oh, I know I got this one. Um... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got these last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, those are those are cool. These are the moon landing. Yes. Triggered a few people with this coin. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lunar landing. Uh, you can imagine what they uh, <clears throat> were triggered over. But I, I do, I, I think these are a great, great coins. <laughs> I might, uh, I might flip one, but uh, definitely not with a uh, moon landing denier. <laughs> okay, let's move along here. <laughs> these though, oh man, I got four of these, or five. I think I, I gave one away, but I bought five of these. These are the Queen Anne's Revenge. Black flag, black beard, first edition. Those are just lit love them and i am absolutely planning on 
flipping at least two, if not three of these. I, I don't think this is the right time to be flipping, quite frankly. <laughs> but um, yeah, that first in the series, I think this, the value of it has already gone up from when I bought it. Um, but uh, I can't imagine if, uh, you know, silver prices do jump up, you'll have that to factor in as well. I do love the uh, field on that, the reverse reverse there. That, that is really cool. So yeah, I got four of those uh, left. So here, is this a, yeah, double dragon. Hmm. That is cool. 2018. Yeah. That's a, that's a silver dragon's uh, special. I'm sure he has all kinds of dragons. This uh, Philharmonic, right? Yeah, the Philharmonic. I'm trying to get at least one from every mint. So that that's something that's uh, fun to do too. Cool orchestra set there. Hmm. Interesting. I should know what every one of these are, right? The bassoon, French horn, harp. Is that a cello? A couple violas and a, vi a couple violins? I don't know. Hmm. Should check that out. Maybe you could tell me in the uh, comments. Uh, Star Wars, yes. <laughs> nice. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. My son has uh, also a, a small collection too that he enjoys, uh, and I think he has one of these. He has other ones in there as well. Uh, the bull and whoops, the bull and bear. Caveat emptor. Is that no? Caveat venditor. Venditor. Ooh, I don't know what caveat venditor means. Caveat. Caveat is beware. Venditor. Is that like hmm, investor beware? I don't know. Bull. I do know what caveat emptor means. Buyer beware. Maybe somebody could uh, fill me in in the uh, comments below what the other one means. Bull. Bear. What do you guys think we're in right now? Hmm? Hmm? All right, that's enough. No more of this. This this will, this will get me depressed. <laughs> Let's move along. Oh, the koala. Australian koala, definitely. I think, hmm. Uh, I like the design of the koala a little bit better. I'm thinking this way, and I'd be wrong. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> yes, one dollar mirrored finish a little bit there. And the koala is pretty cool. It's a 2017. <sighs> God bless America. Yeah, we've been in crisis before. Again, I don't want to go dark here, but yeah, this one means a lot to me. Land of the free. Never forget. I hope we can respond like we did after 9-11 as a nation. That'd be a great encouragement. New Zealand. Kiwis. This is from Crispy's Kiwi Adventure. Chris, great guy. He sent this to me all the way from New Zealand. Very nice. Thanks, Chris. Really appreciated that. Uh, boy, I've got a couple more. Doo -doo -doo. North American big game. The Super Slam. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? North American hunting club. I like the mirrored finish on that. Love. Love that. The hunter's rifle. Very cool. And finally, this one. This is my, uh, I think it's my only Canadian proof that I have. This was given to me from someone in the community, too. Very nice. What a gift. Love the design. Actually, I think it was some artist's rendition that won a prize, and so they made a uh, coin out of it. Just quite the mirrored finish. Trying not to do a face reveal here. <laughs> Very neat. It's supposed to go uh, upside down, too, which is kind of unique for a praying mantis, but that is that is the orientation, the correct orientation. Very nice. Wow. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe even gotten to the uh, end of this video. Um, yeah, it's definitely not 
what I usually stack. I got a monster box full of these things, but this is fun, right? And if you enjoyed this, please just, you know, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell if that would work for you too. Also, check out the uh, description below. I put a lot of links in there. Um, I have my uh, uh, mailing address. If you are interested in doing a trade or if you just want to send me something so that I can do a video, an unboxing on it and shout you out, I would really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, this, again, an incredible community we have. Let's let's support each other. Let's stick together. Let's enjoy what we have during this uh, trying time. Well, that's it. Thanks again for watching. And I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.